Welcome to another Digital Lifestyle Com video show. And this video, we're going to have a quick look at a uh, remote control application, Windows Media Center from the iPhone. And the one I'm going to be looking at is VMC Remote. We'll be looking at the light version, which is the free version, and there's a page version with some extra features. So what I'm going to do is um, go fire up uh, VMC Remote on my iPhone, and uh, I'll move the camera down so we can see what it can do and the kind of things it can control with Windows Media Center. The first thing you've got to do before you can use the application on the iPhone is to actually install the server part uh, which you download and uh, there's a link in that for the show notes. It's just a, a few components, you run a batch file and that uh, then installs the, sort of the controller part on the, on the PC. And then from the App Store you can download the application which is VMC Mote and it's a light version. And you can see it's already connected to my Windows Media Center and it's actually brought up the last track I was playing. Now what it does is actually, if I just go to the settings here, it actually downloads the uh, music database from the Media Center device. So it's already populated that because this is the first time I, uh, I did it. So if I go to the library, um, see I picked on one artist here. So if I go into that, so these are all uh, Genesis on that machine. Now you notice I'm browsing through this and my media center machine above me is just um, sat on the, the main screen, it's not doing anything. So while I'm selecting tracks, it's not actually affecting uh, what's going on, on on the machine. So I can pick a music track from here uh, and I can cue it, I can add it to a playlist or I can play it. So if I select play, and then you can hear it start playing. Pause that and I can shoot that again. So now I can uh, go back to my library and let's say I uh, I change the the track on there. Play that one. And that's playing now. And then I can go in and select another track and cue that up, and that's ready to play. I can uh, create playlists, which I've not got any hand in at the moment. And there's actually a remote control. So that's um, brought up the Media Center remote control. So let's, let's move the camera around to see if we can somehow see both at the same time. I should be able to do that. Okay, so there's my Media Center playing the music. And here's the remote, and uh, as you can see, as I'm pressing the buttons, let's just pause the music. Okay, this is tricky with just two hands. So there's the uh, media center in the background and the remote in the foreground. So if I go to remote and if I press up, you'll see media center going up there and so on. Now I can press the uh, guide button, and it's brought up the guide, and I can select a TV show, and that's going to tune that show. So I'm doing that from, from this remote control. And they didn't do that. It's a weird system. It's, it's quite a bombshell. So I can browse through, I'll bring the guide up, go back to TV. I'll go back to the, the back to media center. So let's go back to some music now. So let's go to my library. Let's play some music. So there I've got my music. You should notice it's playing the correct album cover as well. Go back to my library. Go for that one. So again, it's got the correct, correct album art on there. Well, I can even skip through the track. So let's have a look at playlists now. So I'm gonna. Um, let's. Go to the library, pick a song, 
Add to playlist. Pick another song. Add to playlist. To playlist. And there's my playlist. And I can uh, play that. Started playing. With the correct album art as well. And of course I can skip to the next track as well. So let's talk about the differences between the two versions now. Um, the light version only has 100 tracks imported into the library and one radio station, the full version has all your music. And also here on the remote there's actually less buttons so I think on the full version you've got more controls like the transport controls on there. But the main um, purpose I think uh, of this remote is really about the music, how you can queue up the music without having to go through the media centre in your eye, get it all ready and then send the playlist. And I think it does that really nicely. The metadata is all there. Um, you can, when you're playing, you know, if I start to to play a track, it's instant, there's no delay. You've got full album art and a very slick, sort of fast response. If there's no lag at all on that, and I and I really like that. So for music, I think it, I think it's brilliant. Um, for remote control, it's still good with the remote, but I think it needs the transport controls there, and hopefully that's what the, the full version will do. So I think it's a terrific app for uh, for playing about music mini center from the iPhone. I know there's quite a few of them, but uh, this is one that's definitely worth checking out as it's free, and the uh, installation is pretty light on the on the PC side as well. So thanks for watching this video. I hope this uh, helps when you're uh, looking for something to add into your media center system. You've got an iPhone. I'll see you on another video. Bye.